So it is different being a female entrepreneur. And there's nothing wrong with that. So if I were to put a, for, something in a fortune cookie, it would be recognize it's different, be okay with that, and adjust and be recognize that in the stuff that you do. So I, you know, my motto at the company is don't bring me problems, bring me solutions. I don't care who caused the problem. I don't care who, like, let's just solve it. And the reason I say that is that I think as a female entrepreneur, it has been different. But if I were to sit here and say, well, it's not going to be different. I might not have a slightly different management style. I might not recruit a slightly different team. It might not be a little bit different when I'm pitching investors. I think that's that's not being realistic about what goes on in the market. And as a as an entrepreneur, I'm paid to be a realistic optimist. And so this goes back to my my sort of feedback question is that, you know, a lot of women are told to pitch in a slightly different way or this or that. My number one thing is I just recognize, okay, there's probably going to be a bias against me. You hear it all over the media. It's out there. So then I should also think about what is my persona? What is my motto? How am I going to own this? And how do I take that feedback back in? And so my, my advice in that fortune cookie would be like recognizing that it's going to be different is half the battle. Assuming that it's not going to be different is, is, is not realistic. Just like assuming hiring 20-somethings with no experience is going to be not going to be different than hiring somebody who's 40 and has years of experience or hiring a salesperson versus hiring a creative is going to be different. It's sort of that I'm a big believer in that you have to think about the whole when you when you think about succeeding and that you have to understand all the moving parts to figure out what the best path is to success overall.